everybody. Welcome to the All Brands Show. I'm Barbara from AllBrands.com and today we're going to be crafting it up for Christmas with the Brother Scan and Cut. Today I'm using the SDX 330D. We also have tons of models on our website, so I hope that this inspires you and is helpful. Uh, the first project, just a little teaser, we're going to make these fun little ornaments. You can make them into a little uh, garland like I did uh, below, but I, no glue. I used my sewing machine and I sewed them together and it's going to be so super cute. Anyway, uh, we do give away a $50 allbrands.com e-gift card at the end of every broadcast. broadcast. So <laughs> to be eligible, please comment hashtag allbrands.com. Nope, hashtag allbrands. And uh, you'll be entered to win. So uh, good luck. All right, well, let's get into it. So today we're going to be talking about the Scan and Cut, which is a cutting machine by Brother. It's awesome, it scans and it cuts. We're going to be talking a little bit about some um, inspirational sites that you can go to to get content. So the first one is Canvas Workspace. So I'll just share my screen here, and I hope you can all see that. Uh, this is Canvas Workspace, and I was like, let's, and it's a web-based program. So you just go to the internet, type Brother Canvas Workspace, and it will come up. Uh, let's just do it like I'm doing it for the first time. Space, just Google it, and then here it is. Wonderful. If you click that, it'll bring up the site. You can go into your account, set up your machine, which I'll show you how to do. Uh, but this first one really, really inspired me. So you can use Canvas Workspace to uh, do this particular one, but I wanted to let you guys know, you don't have to use a computer program to use your scan and cut. So I am going to do something that this inspired on my, uh, using my pre-built-in cutting files on my Scan and Cut. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, and let's just get into that first. We're going to make the little snowflake. So let me, um, and let me know if you have questions along the way. Uh, we'll be in the chat to answer those. So yeah, okay, let's get into it. So let's go to our Scan and Cut. Oh, here it is. All right, this is the Brother SDX 330D. So it's been a mess in here because I've just been cutting, cutting up all week long. So I'm gonna wake up my scan and cut here. Turn it on, maybe, would be a good idea. How about that? All right, here we go, Brother Scan and Cut. So I was like, let me do a snowflake. There's tons of built-in designs in the machine. So I'm just gonna click Pattern. Uh, and all of these are categories. So I'll click this one, and then our snowflake is right here. There's two of them that are so cute. So let's just do this one. You can size it. I'm gonna click OK. OK. You can even say how many you want to come in to the file. So let's say a uh, six. I'm gonna be using just regular printer paper today. So that is just like this. So, and I'll be using, with the paper, you'll look for the teal colored mat that says low tech adhesive mat. And your blade, which is black. So this is your standard cut blade. Um, I, there's also other blades available. Um, gold is for fabric. And there's a new rotary blade, which is really cool. But we're cutting paper um, just to keep it simple in this video. So I, <laughs> I've been cleaning my mat with this awesome... And so I like to make a mess. So if you guys have this totally awesome spray, you can um, spray that on your mat. It doesn't have alcohol in it. So it will um, really help to 
clean your mat. Okay, so I'm going to take the protector film off. And then I'm going to lay my um, paper down. But before I do that, you'll notice that the paper is the same color as the mat. And this machine scans and it cuts. So I'm going to put my paper here and grab a little marker or something and mark the edges of the paper so I can actually see when I scan the paper where the paper ends and the uh, mat begins so that I know exactly where. This is just when you're doing white on white, just a little trick. Um, so you don't go off the edge on accident. Here we go. And then I'll just, you know what, let's just play around because I want to have fun and just be crazy. Let's do another one for this one. Let's see, what's Christmas Eve? A, maybe a, we'll do a snowman. Uh, let's, okay, so on this third one, piece of paper. Let's just draw a snowman. So I'm going to go and please, I am not an artist. That's why I buy, oh, he's a fat snowman. That's why I buy machines that are artistic for me. Okay. And so I'm going to make this little guy a little cut. I thought I should have um, we'll cut out some little holes in the center, maybe. Oh, I'll give him some little feet. I think he has shoes. Who knows? Okay, this will be our little snowman. Hey, wouldn't it be fun to get the kids involved and have them draw something like that too? So, um, not an artist. Uh, so we'll just we're but we're just cutting up and having fun. All right. So I'm going to position my paper on my mat, and this is the extra long one. So if you're doing something where you have to cut a lot, um, you can actually cut up to 24 inches. So I was able to cut quite a few um, snowflakes on my mat. So, all right. So I'm just going to open my front case. I'm going to load my mat here. Oh, one thing to think about when you're using this extra long mat, Harvey, you might want to make sure there's enough room back there. To where when it goes behind, it's not like hitting the wall. So let's just bring it forward and we'll go from there. All right. So let's load our mat. So it's this middle button right here. All right. Very cool. All right. So once your mat is loaded, well, we, we, we will go back to the screen here. All right, there's the screen. And I'm going to um, select how many I want. So I, I'm opting for six. Let's make them just a little bit smaller. Oops. Oops, you can go back and make them smaller. Back, back. A little smaller. Let's do it like by percentile. I want 75% size. That way, I know I can fit that on there. Okay, okay, fit. And then, oh, <laughs> I didn't do the six, but that's okay. First, we're going to scan our background, okay, so that I can see where the paper is. All right, hopefully. Oh no, I got my cord back there. <laughs> this is such a life, you know? Here we go. Scan, scanning. Okay. I think 
optimally, I would use my this on the other board, uh, the other direction. Okay, so let's go to uh, edit. And do you see how you can see the little recognition marks now? Oh, gosh, what a great tip, Barb. You're welcome. All right, so I'm just going to go in here, place these, and then I'm going to go to edit. And then object edit, and then I can add here. So you can rotate size, um, tons of different things in here, but we're just gonna keep it simple. And I'm gonna add five. And then I'm gonna arrange them on my paper. And everybody, and most people have paper in their house, but you can use paper bags, um, leftover from the grocery store, tons of different things. Um, I just figured we could use white paper because white's the color of a snowflake and everyone has that in their house. All right, because the last thing you want to do is have to go to the store. Um, <laughs> all right, so we're going to go to cut this out. Okay, so select, cut. these out. Now, when I was doing this before, I cut out several, which used the whole mat. Um, so while we're cutting that out, it's going to tell us how long it's going to take. And right now, it's actually measuring the depth of the material, which is pretty cool. And then it cuts it out. So what have you guys been doing on your scan and cut for holiday projects? I think this one is so fun. Okay, while we are cutting those out on the scan and cut, let's go back to our Canvas workspace and we're going to pick out our next project together. So we can go to Canvas Workspace, let's go to Projects, and you can search, you can see tons of projects here. So look how precious these are. Oh my goodness. Um, I think the next one that we're going to do is this Christmas flower, which is really, really cute. Um, and then I'll show you how you can wirelessly transfer this um, to your scan and cut machine if you have um, a wireless SDX machine. So I'm going to go ahead and see the recipe card. And I can see, oh my goodness, look at this. I need red paper, green paper, and maybe yellow. And then I can follow these very easy instructions to make a very cute wrapping for a gift or even just for regular decorations. So, and there's also a video included. So um, on Canvas Workspace, it is gonna show the CM models of the scan and cut. So just disregard where they set their blade depth here um, because the new SDX models have auto blade, um, auto blades on it. So it automatically knows how thick your fabric is to be able to um, do the project. So it'll walk you through the different steps that on that SDX machines you don't have to do. <laughs> and then, uh, but to get into the meat of it, it'll tell you which mats to use and how it's done. And I won't spoil the fun but this is um, just a little preview that you can see. Very cool. Oh, guess what guys? My uh, machine stopped cutting. So let's go back to our scan and cut and we'll weed out our little snowflakes. All right, so I'm going to unload the mat. So this middle button here, I'm going to take my scan and cut out of the way. I dropped something. <laughs> Not sure what it was. Um, let's see. 
There we go. All right, here's our map. Okay, so basically all we need to do is just peel up the outside. So I like to do like all sides when I peel this up. And then I can get kind of like pulled from all directions. And there we go. It's that easy. So I just take that away. And then I take my handy spatula that comes with the machine. And um, you can peel up the edges. So this is why I use the low tech mat because the regular printer paper is very thin. So you can actually kind of like, I don't ever bend your mat, but you can kind of, um, to get the very edge, just do a little slight like that. And then we will spatula up our little snowflakes. And then we'll have them ready for the machine. Oh, ah, here we go. Ah, it's snowflakes everywhere. So we're going to weave these out and then we're going to go to our machine. So today I'm sewing on the STX, nope, the rather SE2000 machine. So that is this one here. This is an awesome machine. I love it. And I already have some snowflakes that I pre-cut out so that we can make a little garland. And I don't know about you, but I love to sew and I have a sewing machine. I don't have a bunch of glue in my studio or, and I don't want to use staples or anything like that. If I have a sewing machine, I'm going to use it. So here it is, I'm going to plug it in. This is actually a sewing and embroidery combination machine. It's my favorite. That's why I love featuring this machine on videos. All right, so here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the regular straight stitch and pick a center position for my needle with the straight stitch. I'm going to take my, oh, and I forgot, we have this amazing thread. It's called King Star Metallic. I put that in my top and my bobbin, um, and it sews through paper just beautifully. It's a metallic wound polyester core sewing and embroidery thread, and it just works like a dream. It's like no other metallic thread that we've ever worked with before. Um, it's just not fussy at all, and it's um, fun, fun, fun to work with. And if you've ever worked with a metallic thread, <laughs> um, you may not like it, but if you haven't tried King Star Metallic, don't write off um, that thread because it's, it stands apart from every other brand in my opinion. Okay, so here's our needle. I'm gonna take as many of these as I want. Let's try a bunch, just for the first time. Like three maybe. We'll see how that looks. And then I'm going to put the point underneath my foot. And I'm gonna sew it together. And y'all, really, it's so important at Christmas time to not just buy things from the store for people. Um, you want to make things. That's way more special. Um, and what more fun than to get a child involved or a friend and do these together. Because it's all about... Okay. All right, so I just did like a straight stitch down the center. And then what I'm gonna do um, is I'm gonna lift my needle position and I'm just gonna pull as much thread as I want there to be between each snowflake on my garland. 
So then I'll put three more together. Let's see, and then we'll just sew along. Let's just do two on this one. And then we'll alternate between two and three. needle position and do another one and it's so fun you can do so many different things all right so we're running out of time I gotta get this garland done so let's do one more sew it together with my needle have some threads enough thread where I can hang it on what I want to, and ta-da! Oh, don't forget to make, to make a long, a uh, long one in the beginning so that you have a tail to tie. Um, but then all you have to do is let me see if I can maneuver this crazy little camera camera here. Just fold them over on your cutting mat and shape them into the beautiful little garland snowflakes that you have. Very cool. So you get the idea, isn't that super fresh? Yes, yes. I hope you all make snowflake garlands. You can also scan in um, I'm going to make a different little snowman, but I, I will demonstrate that really quick and then we're going to do a canvas workspace design so yeah and you just shape it and it's so cute look look at that fun uh all right i'm feeling the spirit now okay so i'm going to take my other piece of paper i'm just going to do something really simple um, and i'm not going to draw directly on my mat because I do not want to get ink on my mat. So let me just draw something like, let's do a star. That, Barbara, is not cute. <laughs> let's do a snowman. You can also print these out and cut them out. Um, so that may be actually a better option. But this is just to get you inspired. Maybe you're someone that you know that loves to draw is over and they want to um, draw something that's personalized. So we will load our mat, which is here. And then we back this up a little bit. There we go. I am just making a mess here. Yep, I did that. Okay. So we're gonna go and I'm gonna put my screen back on. There we are. All right. All right. So we were done with the other thing, so we're going to go back home. Okay, I'm going to go to scan, and I'm going to scan to cut data. Start. And we're scanning. And I'm going to show you, I should have done this because it scans 12 inches. That's something good to know. And my little snowman was like a teensy bit out. So it actually scanned like this. So um, I could draw it or I can. Um, you can. Okay. So we're going to go and I want to have just all of that outlines cut. Okay, so I'm going to delete these and let's just do the star. You 
know, you can find beauty in some things, <laughs> even my crazy start. All right, so let's do that. We're going to go to preview. All right. Okay. I'm going to save it to the machine. And I'm just going to put a new piece of paper down. Let's see here. All right, so I saved it into the machine's memory. I put some paper on my mat. And I love how this mat sounds like thunder sometimes <laughs> whenever you're getting it ready. Okay, so we'll load our mat. go home and I'm going to go to retrieve data and I'm going to find my little star. Okay. And then I'm going to click and move it around on my mat. I see that it's under it's at around six or so. So you'll see the inches on here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It's about where my paper starts. And then I will click OK to select. Oh, uh, and then you would, if you want to do multiple ones, you can select that. But we're just going to show you cutting out one here. Again, this is the low tack mat, and I'm just using regular printer paper, and we're cutting out on the can of cut something that we scanned in. So really, the sky's the limit. You can use the built-in designs. You can use the campus workspace designs, the now art spirit designs, um, and here he is, all cut out exactly how I drew him. So if you want to keep it special and authentic, um, that's how you do that. Very cool. Okay, so let's go back to our computer and we are going to find a design in Canvas Workspace. So we went here and so I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. Okay, so transfer is ready. So first you want to set up your machine for wireless. So you go up to this little icon here that says wireless. Um, make sure YLAN enable is on. Click set up wizard. And then choose the um, network that you're going to use. And then click OK. And then it's going to ask you to put in your password. So <laughs> let me just put this over here for a second and put my password in. So, so once you put in your password, it will ask if you want to apply the setting. Click yes. So make sure you're on the same wireless as what your computer is on. Click next. All right, and then it will ask you to register Canvas Workspace. It's gonna give you that, this number. So we're gonna go on over to Canvas Workspace. And I'm gonna go to my account here. Then I'm going to go to machine registration and I'm going to select this one. 
Okay, and it gave me a pin code here. So we'll go back to the machine. Click OK. And then I'm going to find the pin code. And then click OK. Processing. All right, so while it's getting up and ready, Oh, look at that. All right. So let's go back on over to Canvas Workspace. So I'm going to go back here and then we're going to go to our design. So just click the main icon and find our little Christmas flower. Then I'm going to Click the, so we have our flower here and we're gonna click, maybe we wanna edit some parts of it. This is how you would do it. You can click and move things around. You can make them bigger, smaller. Um, I wanna make some small ones. Just see what that looks like. You can arrange it a little differently on your mat if you'd like to do that. And then you can, let's see what happens when I click download. Click download, okay. And then we're gonna do transfer. And then it's ready. Okay, so let's go back over to the scan and cut. Retrieve data, wireless here. Retrieving. And there it is. Oh, it's magic. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> I'm so glad I got that to work and I didn't practice it. That's how easy it is, guys. I did it like once several years ago. Um, so thanks for watching that. And I hope it's helpful for you because if you haven't set that up and you have the scanning cut, please, please do. So I haven't weighted my the top part of my net. So I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna unload my net. We can move them around on the net. And I need a red and a green and a yellow. So we'll go red. Green and yellow. So I'm just gonna do like maybe half of a piece of paper and cut it. So I'll just do a half, another four. There we go. Okay. And then we will find our scissors that we never misplace, right? We never misplace scissors. Ever, right? Oh no, they're not under all this junk over here. <laughs> not at all. Okay, so I'm just going to cut some little pieces out. And we're going to have a red. These are not my fabric scissors. They used to be. And then someone used them for not fabric, so now I use them for not fabric. Now, paper scissors are very different from fabric scissors. You don't want to cut paper with fabric scissors. All right. So we're going to do this, and I'm just going to put it however which way I want. I'm not going to think about it. I'm going to just put my three colors on there. One, two, and guess what? If it's not perfect, we can always resize them. We can move them around. There's just so much that we can do. So I'm going to move it back, okay? And then I'll get a little yellow. Or, I mean, we have this fun, these fun glittery stuff. Maybe we'll use that for something else. We'll just use just a little bit of yellow. So I wanted to show you that you can use things that you have laying around the house. Like if you have construction paper, it works totally fine in the scanning cut no judgment you don't have to go out and buy the most expensive paper and stuff like that you can just use what you have at home because it's safe you know 
Um, we'll stay at home and craft. I'll have to leave. Okay. And we're going to load our map. Okay. And I'll pull up my screen. And I see my little bits here. So I'm going to scan my map so that I can see where to place my bits. Scan. Start. And it's totally fine to sing Christmas songs while you're crafting. I will judge you because I will be singing along. <laughs> right? Okay. I'm having to move my scanning pad because this mat is literally huge, guys. It's huge. It's so big. I like that I didn't have to weed my first project before going to my second project because I just have so much space. Okay, so you can see here there's like a little down arrow. So when you use your 12 by 24 mat, you can go up and down and then just move your little bits so that the colors are in the area that you want to cut out. Oh my gosh, I might not have enough space. What am I going to do? I'm going to have to tear it all out. No, I'm going to go in and I'm going to change the size of this little piece. So let's just take all of them down 75%. Um, so you can do it one at a time. Let's just do 80%. Or you can go say, okay, I'm going to select these two. Put them together. Okay. Edit. Oh, no, that's not how you do it. We're going to weld it together and then we're going to take it all down so that they're smaller. Let's go down to not 50%. We'll go down to. So I'm just showing you guys like. You know, if you didn't measure, that's totally cool. Like, you are going to be fine. It's going to be okay. Oh, so we're going to go back to not weld together so that we could edit. It's like, okay. And then I'm going to ungroup everything. Okay, and then I can move my bits around. So that stumped me, actually, because I wanted to move, like, uh, when I made my snowflakes, I wanted to make, like, a whole bunch and then um, move them, like make one page worth and then copy and paste it to two other pages so that I could just lay three pieces of paper down. Okay, so I did that. I got my little bits in there. I love that. It sounds so British. I love saying bits. My little bits. And then we're going to go click OK. Please select. I want to cut. All right. We're not going to test because, um, I don't know. <laughs> We're just not going to. But you should. But I'm not going to because I trust my machine. Okay. Which I've never cut construction paper before. So we'll just see how it goes. So that's going to take four minutes. And just to let you know, it rounds up by the minute. So if it's three and a half minutes, it's still going to stay four minutes so fast. Wow. That is crazy. Crazy time. Oh my gosh. So we have just a few other things to talk about. And while this is um, cutting out, I wanted to show you some more about Canvas Workspace and Artsphera. So Canvas Workspace is here. All right. We'll just look at some of like these really cute designs. Uh, let's just leave that. Really super cute. Other Christmas inspiration. Um, oh my gosh. Look at this latte art stencils. What? That is so cute. It'll tell you exactly everything you need to finish the project. Look at this, rosette Christmas tree. 
That is so precious. More ornaments. Um, let's see. Halloween. Just so many, so many cute things. Um, let's just type in Christmas and see what comes up. Very, very cute. Oh, look at this. This is what I wanted to show you. Look how cool that is. So you can cut out the stencil for the cake and put um, your, what is it? Powdered sugar, <laughs> powdered sugar over, and it will make this beautiful design. Could you imagine receiving a cake like this? Um, it's very cool. Maybe you could do it with initials to personalize it. Okay, so let's go back to our, um, thanks for working with me, cameras. Let's see. We're going to go back to the scan and cut screen. It's still cutting out. And let's see. Want to go to level two? Okay. Scan that. And it looks like, look, my little edge folded up. So it's like, Barbara, <laughs> stop that. So I love you, scan and cut, for keeping me out of trouble. Thank you very, very much. All right. So let me show you. Canvas workspace. Let me open my phone first. Okay. No, not Canvas workspace. This is Art Spira, the new app my brother has built for this. All right, this is how I'm just have to do it here. All right, so this is the app. It's called Art Spira, and if you have a Samsung or an iPhone, you just go to the App Store and you download it. And this is actually has embroidery designs, cutting designs, and design templates here at the top. It also has magazines with full tutorials in it. So it's gone through some Christmas, which you should definitely check out. Upcycling. Just so many different things. Let me get this a little closer. Don't hurt me, Jane. Who am I cutting that? I use that a lot. Oh, look. I'm not face it up. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> All right. Oh, man. I don't want to go back. Backwards just a bit. Just a bit. And I just finished cutting. We're almost out of time. So I'm showing you Mark Spira. So um, these are the magazines that you can go in. Look at this, Winter 01. All right, so it will show you several different projects. Give you some inspiration in the beginning. <gasps> Look at this winter cup sleeve. And it'll tell you, it has like a little picture of a sewing machine at the bottom. It'll tell you how long it is. And then when you click it, it'll give you a lot of information. Cake stand decoration, winter teacup decoration. Oh, this is random. And you could do this with regular paper. Hello. It look, looks like uh, it's a quick and easy project. You know what you're in for, and it's on the scan and cut. So let's click that. And it has the videos in Artsphere are all with the new SDX models, uh, which is very helpful. So it'll play the video for you. So you can see it step by step, and I'm fast forwarding it, but that's basically all the fun, right? Okay, so that's the, um, what do you call it? Magazine, thank you. <laughs> and then you have free downloadable designs, and guess what? They're all wirelessly transferred to your scan and cut when you set that up. So all you have to do is go to your little settings here. Register your cutting machine. Um, I've already registered my embroidery machine. I can't wait to do this. Um, and then you can send it to your scanner cut. Don't you love it? I love that Brother's constantly coming out with new programs and upgrades that you don't necessarily have to buy. So if I didn't mention it yet, Canvas Workspace and Artsphera are totally free for brother uh, machine owners. 
So I love that. Okay, here we go. Let's make our little poinsettia. One, two. Did I, I put, oh man, I put my things on top of each other like a crazo. That's okay. You know what? We're just gonna make a little flower. It's okay. Sometimes we make happy accidents. Kudos to whoever can say who that's from in the comments. Um, maybe I didn't want to have green leaves on there, you know? So we're just going to carefully use the spatula here to take up the gold part. How dainty and little, even with construction paper, which I could literally tear construction paper by just looking at it. But look how perfect that came out. So cute. All right, and then we'll get a little something or other and put it together. But you know what? Let's do something just a little different. I'm going to go on over back to my sewing machine. And I'm going to sew this together. So let's do that as our last little bit of Christmas inspiration with our King Star metallic thread. Here we are at the machine. And I will select just a regular, let's see. You know what? I'm going to go into my settings here, and I'm going to find a decorative stitch that starts with a circle and see. We'll just play around with that. How about 10? Let's see. So in this one, it is, oh my gosh, look, it's a heart. Do you think that would be cheesy? Maybe so. We'll just do, we're going to do a circle. Okay. Okay. So we'll go back to our needle area. And I'm just going to stitch this on. <laughs> or you can, you know, do what the project tells you to, but I'm just trying to encourage you all to think outside of the box. And it's okay to do something a little different. I'm done stitching it together. There you are with your sweet little sewn together gift. You can use this for gift wrap. Barbara, you might want to center that next time. You know what? It looks homemade, so stop. <laughs> you love me, right? That's what counts. That's what really counts. I made this for you. And uh, yeah. So I mean, I mean, if you wanted to get crazy, you can like fold it and shape it and all that kind of fun stuff. But yeah, we made a garland and we made <laughs> my pencil crazy. We made a poinsettia flower. I can even put it on my little hat. You could do it with fabric, make it into a little pin. And oh, look at this one that I did before. I used decorative stitches. Oh, it's hard to see on this camera. And I was like, well, let me just make it really glittery. So that's an option too. Just so many fun little things that you can do on the Scan and Cut. And I encourage you to be creative uh, with both. So, yeah, so I think that we have actually a giveaway. So I'm going to bring it up on the screen and we'll have the person in the background announce the winner. All right. And here it goes. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Okay, everyone. I can't believe this year is almost over. Enjoy it. Don't sweat the small stuff. And, you know, I think being creative is the best medicine. <laughs> so it's a 
start getting on your nerves, just be like, you know what? I'm going to my craft room. Bye. No, don't do that. Um, tell everyone that you love them. And I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Happy New Year. All right, everyone. Until next time. Bye. Thank you.